What up, y'all? How's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah. Uh, good af- good afternoon. Uh, slash evening. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, what did I say? So basically, uh, since I woke up, I just binge-watched Tokyo Ghoul, and I'm finally done with it. And it is really good. Uh, honestly, like, I wasn't a fan of season three uh, until halfway. Because, like, season three, they introduced so many new characters that I was just like, I don't care about these characters. I just want to know what's happening with the old characters. Um, you know, and I was like, is this a completely different story? Like, and stuff like that. Um, but then, like, some way, some part, like, you know, like, slowly to the halfway point of the season, they were introducing back like characters from the first two seasons and you know you got to see kind of what was happening um and uh throughout that you also saw the character progression of um the new characters that they introduced and i thought that you know especially this last season it did a really good job of um showing character progression in a very subtle way and you got to see like obviously it's a fictional world but like how these people change through their interactions and it was really dope and honestly i got really emotional in that last season uh compared to the other two seasons i like cried like during a few episodes because it's just like i mean there's so many characters where you see them change in such a real way um where it's not super super drastic but it's like you know, it's it's still a way where it's like believable, you know, um, and it was really dope. Like, there's this one character, uh, Yuri, who um, is very like self-centered and very all about the power struggle and trying to increase his rank uh, in like the investigator, you know, rankings. Um, and he's very selfish, and you know, he he's he keeps trying to like connive ways for himself to. Uh, up his status um and then like even like when he has this first like change in character it's like he's becoming more of a team player but really in his uh inner mind he's more of like using everybody to still elevate himself you know because he realizes that you know everyone else has elevated because they're a team player so he's going to become a team player so he can elevate um and you see this like progression of himself uh and like not really until like uh during the halfway point, one of his closest friends dies. Spoiler alert. Um, and like, it's, uh, that's like one of the biggest turning points. But even then, it still takes a while for him to actually turn to like, to turn into this new Yuri. And like when he does, like literally at the end of the season, it is so beautiful because it's just like, you see the progression of him becoming a very selfish, self-centered person to becoming someone who actually cares about his teammates and his comrades, you know, and cares about what's happening uh, with people around him, even if they have different points of views and stuff. And it's, it's beautiful. Like, I thought that his character progression was amazing. Even, there's so many characters that have beautiful character progressions. Um, and like, honestly, I really liked it. Highly recommend Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, overall, I'd give it like, uh, I give it like a solid like eight and a half out of ten. I would say eight and a half out of ten. So highly recommend it. Go watch it. Um, yeah, really good. Also, like I mean, nothing beats that first season like intro, um, intro song. So yeah, uh, cool. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna defrost some chicken, and then uh, I'm filming in like 20 minutes. So yeah, so I'm just gonna film. Uh, and then, yeah, it's basically it. And then edit some vlogs, uh, and yeah. So hopefully I can catch up with the vlogs today. Uh, yeah, really gonna try that. I only have six to catch up on, so that's it. Once I do six videos, I'm caught up, which I can definitely do, so yeah. Uh, it just depends what time I finish filming today. It shouldn't take too long to do filming. I'll probably say like two hours, but yeah, we'll see. Um, cool, all right. And then after I finish, like, you know, Catching up on my vlogs, I can start. And now that I've finished watching Tokyo Ghoul, uh, I can start like writing. I want to write a lot more so that I can have like weekly videos to like start recording and stuff with some of my actor friends and things of that sort. So I can start doing sketches or like small films and stuff. So yeah, um, or like 
for after quarantine ends, you know, start doing that stuff. So cool. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready for filming. So, all right. Talk to you later. Peace. Yo, what's good y'all. All right. So we just finished up filming. Uh, and yeah, it was good. It went, it went pretty well. Um, I think I got some good clips uh, that I can use for sure. Um, I th think we'll be, uh, after I get these clips and edit them, I'll be halfway done. And now I just need the two like big portions of the film. So yeah. Um, yeah, so it was cool, it was cool. Um, worked a lot with emotion with my actor uh, and yeah. Uh, we were able to get there at some points, um, which is good, so that I can see the ability that she can she can get there emotionally. So we might uh, film, we might do another reshoot on a different day, depending on um, you know how how it is. But do uh, recording, uh, d directing through Zoom is like it's a really interesting experience. Um, it really is an interesting experience because it's like I'm not watching what's on the screen; I'm watching what's on the camera. On the, on the webcam, you know? And if I'm not able to be behind the camera, I get a different angle of what's happening. But honestly, depending on the camera angle and depending on like, you know, uh, where I'm at in my angle, I think it's a really dope thing to see because I feel like I can get a rounder experience of how my actor is feeling and how my actor is portraying what she's feeling, you know? Um, whether if it's like uh, she's really living in the moment, you know, and I can see it from a different angle, which is dope, or if she's playing a moment, you know. So I think that's that's a really cool thing as a director to play around with, uh, looking at things from a different angle that's not behind the camera. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. Um, so cool, uh, but yeah, I, it it went well. Um, yeah, filmed for two hours, so yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, we'll film like one of the major scenes, uh, like sometime whenever my other actor gets back from her trip. And yeah, we should be done soon. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably finish this film by the end of this month, hopefully, if everything goes well. I'm hoping by the end of this month. So that'd be really dope. Um, cool. Alright, uh, that's all I got to say about that, um, so yeah, cool. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat some dinner because I'm really hungry, and then, yeah, we'll see what happens after that, so I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, peace! What up y'all, how's it going? It's a little early, but I want to get some sleep, um, yeah. I need to record, uh, an audition before Friday, so I need to do that, um, be yeah. um, yeah, I'm tired. I need to pass out. Um, so, yeah, today was a solid day. Uh, well, I didn't really do too much. Uh, basically, just finished up Tokyo Ghoul, which I explained already, and then, uh, and then just filmed. So, yeah. And after that, I just literally ate dinner, and then here I am. You know, just finished washing the dishes, and yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to make up early tomorrow, uh, catch up on the vlogs tomorrow, and then I wanna clean a little bit, and my piano should be coming in as well. So, yeah, that's what I got. So, cool. Um, yeah. So, that's it. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys, and good night. Peace.